Hey y'all, it's gonna be a What's Old video and it starts right now. Alright guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thirst Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. This video is going to be 20 what sold for me in the last couple of days on eBay. I'll try to tell you exactly how much I paid for the item and how long it took to sell. This is a reselling channel so if you do like that type of content, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, like the video. So without further ado, let's get into this one. So this right here is going to be a, a lot of vintage files. There were eight there. Uh, they were half round Simmons and Nicholson and some other ones like that and this one sold for $13 the buyer did pay shipping only took 10 days to sell on this and they were in a huge lot that I picked up of other files already in the good on that but when I bought them I, for this many I probably had about three dollars into them so not bad there the Kato N scale last year so it's been sitting around for about a year now I picked up a ton of N scale stuff and this is one of the last ones to go out I had it overpriced I had it like 125 and 115 dropped it all the way down to 65 dollars and it sold and they are wonderful I made a ton of money on these I picked them up for probably about two to three dollars a piece this one sold 65 dollars plus shipping but did take a really long time to sell not so much because of the item it was because I had it overpriced and then I didn't know because the sold comps were kind of all over the place and then finally it sold for 65 pure profit but I'll take it definitely vintage craftsman's v double v v inverted v and this is basically a wrench lot so there's metric there's 14 pieces there's a standard and sometimes when i just have a lot of wrenches and they're not worth a whole bunch of money to you know as one i will lot them up this went for 20 dollars plus shipping and a patent flat rate for the shipping cost and this could be somebody that wants the wrenches or somebody that's actually going to resell them they're probably worth if you want to sit on them, you could probably get $5 a piece plus shipping on these. So more money there to be made, definitely. So I don't know if this was a reseller or somebody that's actually just going to use the wrenches. But I do that a lot when it comes to little wrenches. If I had, if if they're not in like super good condition and I have so many, like a ton of them, like I say, I just bought a big toolbox full. I'll start like lotting them off and everything and they sell pretty good that way. That one probably only took about four weeks to sell. Carhartt Men's 33-32 Khaki canvas duck work pants right here they were in really good condition got them at a yard sale for about a dollar sold for 29 dollars plus shipping on this one and they did take about two months to sell i did have an offer on these early on and i declined the offer and then they just sat around and i was like i cannot believe that these aren't going to sell and i declined an offer for like 22 bucks i should have taken it but they did end up selling for 29 dollars, which was the full asking price so i was happy with that the positive putter c 144 belly putter steel shaft right-handed club went for 25 dollars plus shipping picked this up a long time ago for three dollars at the goodwill but belly putters usually sell very well for me and you know it's a belly putter or a long putter if it's longer than uh, usually like 35 to 36 inches if it's longer than that but these are usually like 42 inches 48 inches they're just super long they got a big old shaft on them and they're kind of funny looking because they're just a long putter so they usually sell pretty good uh this is on the lower end some of them can sell all the way up into like the hundred dollar range this one right here is just a handsaw from Craftsman. It is older. It had the numbers on it, and that's how I knew it was just an older saw. Went for $10 plus shipping. I picked up a whole bunch of these like more than a year ago, and when I first got into selling tools, not the best buy here. Uh, you know, they, the, the saws really have to be worth a ton of money. There's some ones that have wheat on the handle, like a little engraved. They can go for some money, but you can also take the saw off the handle and just sell the handle, which actually sells a little bit better. This went $10 plus shipping, took like a year and a half to sell, so not that good. The TaylorMade LCG Burner 4-Iron right-handed S90. That's a big thing here. The S90 is going to be on the shaft. That's the bubble shaft. It sells a lot better for me and for more money than the R80. So that shaft I always look out for. Graphite shaft went for $20 plus shipping. Got it for $3 at the Goodwill. It did take a long time to sell, but for a little bit more money than the R80. It took about six months to sell. Wilson Staff fat shaft irons three through pitching wedge but it's missing the seven iron that's why it took so long to sell this thing's been sitting around for eight or nine months sold for 79 dollars and 99 cents the buyer did pay shipping funny on this one though i've sent out multiple offers on this like like tons i had like 13 to 20 people watching it i sent out offers as low as 50 dollars, and then it sold one day for full asking price so i definitely like that uh i'm in about three dollars per golf club there so definitely some money made there but been sitting around a really long time the next one are going to be some 
buck and doe deer calls. These were in the pocket of a jacket that I bought when a huge hunting lot that I did at a yard sale. I got $25 for the whole lot. Took about three weeks to sell, uh, but I'm already in the good on. So always check pockets. That's, sometimes I find some really cool stuff in pockets of jackets, pockets of pants, or definitely golf bags. They always go through golf bags. This right here, like basically a free eight bucks. Easy to ship, easy to list. Not too bad. They are sold within you know, very quickly. So definitely happy with that eight bucks. The Mickey Mouse 2003 Marathon White Hat. This was an international sale and it was to a viewer. So thank you, Deborah, so much for that. If you're watching this and you have not received this hat yet, because it's gonna take a while, obviously, because it's an international um, sale. I also put something else in the box for you, so hopefully you'll get that soon. But $9 plus shipping on that one, and that one she actually saw in one of the videos that I do. So if you ever see something in a video that you like, you can always contact me on YouTube or better yet, Instagram, and I will get back to you as soon as I can, and we can you know make a sale. So thank you so much for that. This right here is going to be a 6'6 vintage Kodiak fiberglass wooden handles roller tip fishing rod. It says read because I think it was missing the butt plate on this one. And it did go for $25. The buyer did pay shipping. 10 days to sell. Had it forever because I picked this up down in Savannah. But I, it takes a while to list these. So I want to list my fishing rods in big groups. So I usually wait till I have 10 to 15 to list. And then I'll do that all day long because you have to kind of like set everything up with the lighting. And people always ask, how do you list things so fast? It's because I have, you know, I'll wait till I have liked items, like a whole bunch of tools, fishing rods, shoes, and I do them all at once that are all prepped. So, so I don't have to move lighting around or anything like that. But 10 days to sell there, not bad. I'm already in the good on that when I picked it up. It was actually only $2, which is a really good deal for that. Another fishing rod sell sold on auction 10 days. Vintage Ugly Stick has the information right there. 6'6". Six, six. This was a uh, two-piece rod, I believe. Went for $30 and the buyer did pay shipping. Six bids on that one. This was made in the United States, so that's super cool. I was going to keep it, but I'm not going to lie. I have a ton of Ugly Stick rods and Tiger rods. So I just go ahead and sold this one for 30 bucks. 10 days. And when I picked it up, I usually pick them up with the fishing reel on them and i'm usually only a couple bucks into fishing rods starbucks fort worth 2009 global icon collection mug 16 ounce went for 15 dollars and the buyer did pay shipping on this one got it for 50 cents at a yard sale these i think that one sold within a week but i have a whole bunch that have been sitting on for about a month that aren't selling but they usually do take a while to sell department 56 heritage village delivering the Christmas greens. So yeah, I think it's a three piece or two piece set here. Went for $6, the buyer did pay shipping on that. Picked up for $2 at a yard sale only a couple weeks ago. Vintage Simplex. This is that big swivel top screw jack, 20 ton. Had it listed for 70 bucks. Somebody offered me 50 plus shipping. I was like, absolutely, I'll take that. I was only 20 bucks into this, but I'm already good on that. Uh, yard sale where I picked all this stuff up about three weeks ago so I was happy for this this goes in a large flat rate that's why you can only ship it for you know 22.65 there if it was anything else this was super heavy I think this was weighing in around 15 to 20 pounds maybe so definitely a, a heavy box so when I buy heavy items in my mind I'm usually always thinking will it fit in a large flat rate and if not I usually stay away from them but that one not not bad there sold you know pretty fast and for a good profit the ping g25 7 iron demo blue dot head only right handed club picked these up a while back probably about eight months ago at a yard sale for only a dollar been sitting on it obviously for a while but they were almost in brand new condition and so for 26 dollars plus shipping. I had a whole bunch of these and they actually sold better on Macari than eBay. And this one kind of took a while on eBay to sell. The Mack truck model C609 and C611 brochure spec sheet. I picked a whole bunch of these up in an auction and it was in where on high bid around here, you can buy usually like whole closets on estate auctions or whole attics. And this was in a whole closet lot had tons of Mac stuff in there that I guess they just didn't go through. And these things have sold $15 plus shipping and I had like 30 to 40 of them. So really good pickup there. I'm, I'm, I only have a couple of them left. They sold very fast. So if you're out there yard sale and you see anything with Mac trucks on it and it's like a brochure from the older trucks, definitely pick them up if you can get them for a good price because they sell very well for exactly 15 bucks. Some I sold for 25, but mostly were 15. The Cars Candio 8-Track Tape. That was actually in the same lot in the same closet that the Mack truck stuff was in. Went for $9.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. 
Polo Ralph Lauren. This one went for $39 and the buyer did pay shipping. This was a really good size. It's a 2XL tall shirt, Aloha floral. When I picked this up, Kayla was like, eh, that's kind of a loud shirt. And I was like, ah, man, the sole comps were there. That's the only reason I picked it up. Did my research in the store. That thing sat for only two weeks, so for $39. Super happy about that because usually clothing sales, I don't get, I mean, $39 for a shirt is, I think, a really good sale for sure. And this one is a 1979 flat unrolled beer can. It has the brewing company right there in Pittsburgh. I have a whole bunch of these. A while back, probably eight months ago, I was at an auction, and they went for like, five dollars a piece and i was like yeah i definitely want a whole bunch bought like 20 or 30 of them i thought they were going to sell very fast turns out they don't they're not really they just don't sell that well so this one for 11 dollars 99 the buyer did pay shipping and i have probably 15 more of those to go they're just going to slowly sell off so I, so right there that is 20 what sold for me in the last couple of days on ebay i do these videos so you can get there find some of these items flip them for yourself and make some money i do appreciate everybody that watches and you know i will always catch you on the next one